morning. Hello. Hello, you. Welcome to a new video. Yeah, it's weekend vlog, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we look dog rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, we've got a new GoPro, and this is the one that's got the screen on the front. So if our eyes divert over there, it's because... Oh, yeah, there's a, we're looking at the screen. <laughs> yeah, so for the first time ever, we've got no excuse for not cropping ourselves out. Yeah. There's a few there's a few vlogs where, where Ian, like Ian's basically like just this. Oh, I'm not doing that because uh, I'm not dressed. Uh, yeah, I look a bit rough. So, so this is like a just a typical weekend in our home. So we live in, um, if you don't know, South East London. And um, we're just going to hang out for the weekend. You need to excuse the fact that we haven't painted this flat in the 10 years we've been here. And now we're doing weekend blogs. We're like, oh, we should have painted this flat. Because <laughs> uh, if you have candles on... Um, you get smoke. It gets and, a bit silly, does it? Yeah, so there's definitely smoke marks. Um, and if you then touch it with your fingers, you make clean marks. And then if you try and clean it, you need to clean everything. So basically, it's very smoky and dirty looking. So dirty what, looking? So, Probably. So what I'm learning from these weekend vlogs, is there's going to be lots of stories with Ian. <laughs> and I'll try and edit them out. <laughs> so this weekend, we, we have a few chores to do. We're going to be cleaning up. Yeah, and then uh, this afternoon there's a few things I want to get done, and um, then tonight we've got guests. Yeah, Tom and Jane, the lovely Tom and Jane from Teen O's, Teen Teen Early for, from Team O'Sullivan are coming over for a yeah. bit of dinner and a catch up. They'll be on the sofa. We'll be sat on the other chairs, socially distanced. Yeah, we'll leave a link to their channel up there and also down below. And um, they are the nicest people you could ever meet, and we're very lucky that they only live about. 10 minutes around the corner so that's nice that it's very cool I love this camera <laughs> David does love this camera um, unfortunately it's so close I have to go like that because my very focal lenses so go like that I can't <laughs> see the screen go like that look, I'm looking down my nose at you and I'm not and you can see up my nose I'm going to make coffee <laughs> so I might just take my glasses off and do that that's probably easier isn't it and now I'm squinting I've got very big eyebrows they need a trim before Tom and Jane come over you need a shower <laughs> I do need a shower so we had mail this week but there was a customs charge, £22.24. Uh, and what is it? Well, it's the Enchanted Thoughts Club. The Enchanted Thoughts Club are a lovely couple who live in America who make pins. A few months ago, probably back in July, I saw that they were doing this pin. They're all about diversity and inclusion, aren't they? Diversity and inclusion. So, yeah, there's that one, little fist bump. And there's that you've got an ally in me. The thing about Enchanted Thoughts Club is that they take the order and then they make the pins. So there's a, a period of time where they're in production. So they don't turn up straight away. And whilst they were making them, they uh, announced another one, which was this one, which David wanted, which is their take on the redoing of Splash Mountain with Princess and the Frog. So they started making that one. So I contacted them and said, can I add that to the order? And they were very kind and said, yeah, of course. They'll send me a new invoice. So they added that to the order, but we had to wait for it because that was in production as well. So I think in total, these pins have taken almost three months to arrive. There's not many fantasy pins. So fantasy pins are pins which aren't made by Disney that I like, but these are awesome. Like, I think they're really cool. They're really good. Um, they're really really well made really good quality and um, they're quite unique and I think one of them is one of this one isn't it? is limited to 500 and the lovely people sent us number one we're assuming they don't put one on everyone <laughs> they won't <laughs> um, so we'll leave a link to their website down below but yeah pins turned up I would recommend it but the only thing you need to bear in mind if you're in the UK it's expensive isn't it? it's expensive because there's international shipping and then there's also the customs charge on top, which is going to be 22 quid. Mark Suspensers has sent an email. What are they giving us for oh, free? Sadly, nothing. But oh. it's what they got as part of their Christmas lineup this year. Have a little look at this. They've got a uh, chocolate brownie cream liqueur. Basically, it's like a chocolate brownie Bailey's. And if you like a Percy Pig, you can get a kilo of Percy Pigs in a big old jar for 15 quid. Or if you don't want that many sweets, you can like, pick up a little soft toy with some sweets as well for a tenner. Or a musical tin of biscuits. I love that tut. Ian is obsessed with Christmas food. I do like, love that stuff. A hundred percent. Like, we'll have some random pigs in blankets with some random topping and, I don't know, it'll just be... I'm so excited for festive food being in the supermarkets. It's now 20 to 11. 
Jane and Tom arrive in six hours. I know it's a small flat, but we've got to do a bit of We tidying. should do a bit of cleaning. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Right, I'm off. David's mopping floors. Not going to show you because he's mopping it in his pants. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make us a little bit of breakfast. Uh, we are going to have onion, mushroom, cook it up, bit of chilli, bit of garlic, some tomato passata. I think I'll put a bit of ham in it and then you poach a couple of eggs in the middle and you get a delicious tomato -y, eggy mess. That sound attractive? Probably not. So that is the onion, mushroom. Can you see that? It's a bit dark. Onion, mushroom, chilli, garlic, pepper, thyme and ham. Passata. So we have this really long hallway and people always ask like where do you keep all of your tut and all your collectibles so i thought i would show you the hallway this is some people's nightmares like the amount of stuff that's in this hallway but i like it so that's what matters i'm in the middle of tidying up so there's stuff all over the floor down this end of the hallway we have a few of the beauty and beast figurines and a yankee candle we're burning it's soft blanket or baby powder it's baby powder it smells so so nice we have two pin boards some of the favorite pins are here on the pin board i particularly like this board because we've got some of the polaroids and some of the latest things this was actually from the disney grown-ups who sent us that during lockdown really 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 cute love that thank you dawn this was from Josh and Lauren from their shop. There's a few pins there. So these are the ones which I particularly like or want on display or I've not got around to sorting out, if I'm really honest. And then over here we've got another pin board. Lots and lots of pins. There's a figment one just there. And this is the pass holder set, which I absolutely love. They need to be organized. Uh, spoiler, Halloween pin there. I'm going to take this down, you can see a few more. We have been doing the castle collection and you can see how we're getting on with that. There's quite a few more to go with that set, but they're beautiful pins. And then here is a wall of Funkos. So yeah, you can see we've been invaded by aliens, <laughs> but you can see there is lots and lots of Funkos on this wall. Some you would have seen from hauls or yeah, just other videos when we've been shopping. And you'll see the rocket there for the Alien Remix. And we've been in the middle of collecting those and we've actually got the final pins to put on. So I need to do that at some point this weekend. But yeah, that's where we keep our Funkos in the hallway with the rest of the, the stuff. You can see all our Corona supplies in the corner there. Just got midday and we still haven't had breakfast yet, which is sometimes quite typical on a Saturday. But that is the hallway. And if you wonder, ooh, in the shadows, if you wonder where we keep our tut, that is where a lot of it is uh, kept. Right, the eggs are poached. So David is still dusting. But to be fair, that was my job, but I've not done it yet because I was doing kitchen stuff. But in that time, in the last hour and a half, David has done the bathroom done the uh, mopping of the floor, hoovering of the floor, done the hallway, um, shown you his pin board, and now he's dusting the shelves. And that's I've, what all that banging is. I've made a bit of breakfast. So that's what it looks like in the bowl. Yum, I love it. Egg, tomato, onion, mushroom, ham, garlic, chilli, pepper, and herbs. So I've finished my breakfast. Verdict? Yeah, it's really nice. I always love it. It's so it's so simple, but how many calories are in that? I think it's about 180. It's really hot. I mean, mine's still burning me out. The David's walked this down already. Yeah, I'm not yeah, quite sure yeah. how you can do that. I like my food really hot. Yeah. Right, I'm going to make a coffee. We'll use an espresso, but um, I'm on my last capsule. So this will be my last capsule for a while. It's a slow descent into craziness after this, <laughs> yeah. with, until it arrives. <laughs> <laughs> I've just checked, it says like it's supposed to come today, but I don't think it will. It'll probably come on Monday. You know what these things are like. But um, yeah, I'm going to have my last one. Um, update, there's no capsule left. David's had it. Yeah, there's no coffee for David. Have a cup of tea. Hot chocolate? No. Should have ordered some more before they got low. I told you on Wednesday, just saying. Right, I procrastinated again. It's now quarter to one. I've done loads. Uh -huh. I'm going to go and do some dusting. 
Oh, it's very exciting these weekend vlogs. <laughs> what are you doing with my hand? Dusting. Oh. Look at us, we're looking all moody in the shadows. Because <laughs> it's, it's wintery. It is, it's middle afternoon. What time is it? Half past two. Half past two. So we have mopped all the floors, we have dusted, we have done the bathroom, we have done the shelves, we have sorted out all of our plants. We have so many plants. And watered them all because some of them were... They were quite dry. <laughs> <laughs> Consider it. It's like they live in a desert. <laughs> oh, this has been hot here. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple of projects I want to do this weekend, and you will know that we use a lot of Polaroids in our thumbnails, and I have all of these Polaroids. What I thought I would do, well, I've been looking for a while for a photo album, and I've not been able to find one just for Polaroids. On the Polaroid website in the last week, they have released this, and this is a purpose-built Polaroid by Polaroid photo album. It's quite cool. So it comes in two sizes. It comes in a large and a small. A small is, is sort of halfway. So I'm going to open it up, have a look at it, and hopefully get all of those into that. We don't actually have a Polaroid camera. Instead, we use um, the Polaroid lab, which is this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's not done their job properly, have they? All it is actually is a printer. Um, it's got a USB charger at the back, so it's uh, it's got its own battery. You press the on button, you take off the lid, and then on the phone is a Polaroid app. What else you got on your phone? Oh, that's jazzy, isn't it? So you, oh, I don't know those people. You pick your photo, this one is of you and Alex and Ree. Press next, and then you've got choices of doing a single print, a double print, a triple print. Oh God, look at that. That's what you want a print of six photos or nine photos that's quite expensive to do nine photos <laughs> so you press next it says turn off all your settings so i put the screen up nice and bright it's not down the color and all you do is you put it on top of the machine and it flashes three times Ooh. and then you press Ta -da! what you've got is a polaroid picture and then you need to put it face down for a bit to make sure it gets the best colours. You have to keep it out of the light. So we'll come back to that in a few minutes. And that's it. So let's open this. So you've got uh, embossed Polaroid on the front. It's really nice, actually. And it's literally just a photo album, which I think is rather cute. All right. Come back to me in a few minutes, and I'll show you what they look like inside. All right. So... That's how they fit in. So they just go in the slots. So the front page, obviously, I've picked four pictures of us. It's me and my Mickey ears. I don't know Mickey ears, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's Ian's headshot. <laughs> this was actually before Galaxy's Edge was open. This one is in my favorite place in the world, which is Universal Studios in California. It's back to Future Square. Back to Future Square, yeah. Um, and you can see there is so many. Um, photos there's some black and white ones which i'm excited to put together um under here we have nibbles and bubbles we've got piglets oh that's my toes trip little little piglets trotters <laughs> piglets <laughs> trotters <laughs> got on our spring so some of it is a little bit random because some of it we've taken specifically for thumbnails but i think the next page is going to be those black and white ones so david found these which are pictures he took when we did our road trip to my parents and that's uh, my parents dog ollie sad news is last weekend um he had to be put down my dad had been up all night with him he had well he couldn't really stand and he'd been vomiting so they took him to the vets they rang the vets first thing in the morning the vet said come in bring him in they did some tests and they said his uh kidney and liver were failing and he had a lot of toxins in his body, so there wasn't really much they could do. So my parents had to make the decision to let him go and put him to sleep. But because of COVID, they ha they couldn't actually go into the uh, vet surgery. So the vet had to bring him out and put him in the back of their car, and that's where they uh, gave horrible. him the injection. Um, yeah, so that wasn't... Well, it wasn't unexpected, but it wasn't expected to happen then. Uh, and then yesterday, which was Friday, my mum messaged the, with to say they picked up his ashes, which is also not a good day for my parents. So that was also very sad. Yes, yeah, so I'm glad we got to see him one final time when we went to see my parents. But I yeah. Think, I think when we were there, we knew 
he wasn't particularly well. Like he looked so different from last time we'd seen him. I thought anyway. Well, the last few times I've been down there, he's definitely older he and more a lot more fragile. Fragile. Yeah. So um, it wasn't unexpected. And when I said goodbye, oh. I'd say goodbye. So um, but still sad. Yeah. Anyway, I brought this uh, part of the uh, blog down. David's doing happy <laughs> photos. Stop crying. <laughs> so I'm going to send some of these pictures to my Aww. parents. And they can put the pictures on the stand. Because they've got his ashes, as I said. And weirdly, the ashes are with the ashes of the previous dog, Sophie. Aww. And there's a little photo of Sophie. So, um, yeah, getting a right old mausoleum of my parents for uh, animals God. we've lost over the years. Oh, well, anyway. <sighs> um, do, 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 do. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> happy thoughts. David's doing memories in a photo album. You can see that again in a second. <laughs> so <laughs> These Ooh. are black and white ones I was talking about. Oh, I like those. Walt Disney World, Disneyland Paris, Epcot, Paris's Disney Studios, and Animal Kingdom. We've got Mickey. These are black, so they're probably a bit hard to come up on camera. Black frame, yeah. Pixar Pier, and some of the... Disneyland Paris. Oh, I'm glad you got that photo album because it just makes it more accessible than that box that we've had them in. Yeah. This is uh, mostly California on this. So uh, Burbank Studios, Plaza Gardens, Burbank. It's turning into a slideshow. Sorry. <laughs> I know you... I mean, it's like it's like being back back in the 80s where people would go on holiday <laughs> and bring their slides and make you watch them. Anyway. I'm anyway, there's 160 going. of these. <laughs> and... If, if, and... <laughs> <laughs> it's for us to flick through, to look at memories, not to bore you stupid. Have, because... a, have a look on uh, Instagram, most of them are on there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back again to see it finally finished, but we won't go through all of them, I promise. Right. He's been sat there, very excited, making like... some very excited noises. <laughs> oh, here we go again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Castles. <laughs> I've been looking for so long for an album like this, and we've got two of these. Oh, have we? Yeah, there's another one on the shelf. Planning yeah. for the future. <laughs> Planning for the future? What? Is that why we've got all those Funkos in the hallway? <laughs> What? <laughs> so this is the photo we printed. It's still developing, but the actual image has come out now. And here is the photo album. And literally all of those photos have filled the whole book. Disney Springs, Funko Shop in LA. Are you doing it again? The superheroes. <laughs> Not for God's sake. That was on my to-do list to do this weekend. I'm really pleased I've done that. So I'm making crumble. What we've got. Apple, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, a bit of lemon juice, caster sugar, ground cinnamon. I'm just melting some butter because I've got a ready-made mix. Now I know it's quite simple, you can just put oats and flour together, but I didn't know how much time I'd have today, so that'll be the crumble, ready for later. So Ian's turned up with a bowl of chicken nuggets and some condiments. Thank you, Ian. Um, we have been eating really healthy, believe it or not. The weekends, we're not doing so well. In the week, we're eating really healthy, and I think it's paying off. I put less of a chipmunk cheek. It's really dark. It's like middle of the afternoon and it, we've hit winter. While Ian was making that, I was on Facebook, on the group. Um, if you're a member of the Facebook group, thank you so much. Like, it's such a nice space for us to post stuff, for you to post stuff. And yeah, we get a real um, enjoyment out of the group and it's a really small group so it's quite nice to be able to respond to everyone and have conversations with people but um if you are on facebook do feel free to send a request to join and um it's really tiny there's only like 300 members so it's quite nice so crumble is ready i'm just gonna pop that in the oven later once we've had main dinner sweet potato cauliflower oregano lots of chopped up chorizo chicken thighs with onion stuffed around it uh, salt and pepper that is supposed to be for four of us but we will eat the leftovers and also it shrink down so it's going to go in the oven when tom and jane arrive and then um i'll show you what it looks like once it's cooked but i need to go and have a shower because tom and jane are getting here in 45 minutes i've not showered and i need to take the bins out and we've got pots and we've got pots to do and david's getting crisps out david's having crisp fun crisp wise <laughs> <laughs> well, as you big as my head. Stocking up for Christmas. So it's Piper's um, sea salt crisps. Those Piper's crisps taste like chips from a chip shop. Whoa. They're really good. Right, I'm gonna go and have a shower. It's a little while later. I've had to go on the Canon because the GoPro is not doing too well with the, uh, the, <laughs> the darkness, which is winter. We've got some lights on there. The castles are lit up. Um, candle wise, we have a fig one. 
and we've got baby powder still going. I'm just waiting for Tom and Jane now. Can't wait to see them. Dinner's ready. That's what it looks like. Very dark, very orange. Ignore the black bits. So it's very late. It's, oh, I say it's very late. Here we go, it's almost midnight. Oh, you can't see that. Nothing focuses on this camera. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> I may have had a few drinks. Uh, if you don't know, this is lovely Jane O'Sullivan. That's Tom O'Sullivan. That's David, Mr. David, if you're being formal. Uh, we had a lovely evening with them, um, but now they're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and we, you don't want us to stay. We do want you to stay, and you're welcome any time and every Thank time. Um, if you don't subscribe to Tom and Jane's channel, you should. One of the nicest set of people on the Disney community and very supportive to us. So there's a link up there and also downstairs. They've got Florida vlogs, they've got home vlogs in London, their trip to Vegas from 2017 I think, and also they've got trips to Spain, so you should go and watch them. Right, I can now let them go and get an Uber. Oh, that was a lovely evening. Yeah, so Tom and Jane have left, I've done the pots, David's tidied up, we've got Fleetwood Mac in the background, so I'm talking over that. <laughs> let me turn it down. It's about half past midnight, it's Saturday night. Yeah, what a day. Yeah, it's been a nice day. It's always fun seeing Tom and Jane. They're such generous people with yeah. their time and and they bought us some presents. But we'll show you those when we wake up in the morning because yeah. I feel like you need a bit of daylight to show those off. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. If you have, give it a thumbs up. But we'll see you in a few seconds, and it'll be Sunday. Morning. Hello, you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We've had a late start. It's um. It's quarter to twelve. No. Yeah, normally when I wake up, David's already been up for hours, but I woke up about five to ten, needing a wee. You were still in bed. I was. True so um, I didn't wake him up, and then we woke up about past ten proper. It's a bit chilly today. It is a bit chilly. Um, I've had a shower. I'm making tea. There is no coffee still. No coffee. I've seen in the bin that there's three uh, three discarded tins of coffee granules which have got best before date of 2019 <laughs> I was like I'm not going to risk that I'm assuming 2019 is when we bought the espresso machine <laughs> <laughs> and that's why the uh, tins of coffee are now in the bin it was lovely to see Jen and Tom last night they bought us gifts which was very sweet of them there was a bottle of bourbon there was some Maxwell Max Welts <laughs> wax melts I don't know who Max Welts is <laughs> and they bought us two pictures Shall I show you what the melts are? Shaka. Oh, yeah. Shaka. Not oh, Shaka Khan. Shaka. You age smell it. It smells like apple crumble and tits, also known as Abercrombie and Fitch. Mmm. We like this one. Mmm. It's nice. We'll try some of these today in the burners. This is called Mousekeeping. Oh. So Jane put oh. these in her weekend vlog the other week, so I'll put a link upstairs and downstairs for that. This I smelled last night. Delicious. It's like washing powder, old school washing powder. So it's really clean, really fresh, cool, oh. clean cotton. Got it, me on. It's a mousekeeping one. Lovely. <laughs> you want to wash your eye out? So these are the two pictures that Jane bought. These us. are wonderful. There's this one. So Jane has this, and uh, Baker family have this as well. When we went round to Tom and Jane's the other week, we saw it. It's by. I looked them up this morning. Sun Estate Creations. And they've got lots and lots of different ones. Um, we'll leave a link downstairs to their website. And then this one in particular, I love. Not quite sure why he's doing Jurassic Park music again, David. Always. It's the up one. Yay. How cool is that? So we're working out where on the wall we're going to put these. They're wonderful. And Thank we'll get, you. We'll get some frames and then I'm sure you'll see them up when we put them up. Yeah, I love it. So nice. It was a real surprise. Um, but yes, it was a lovely evening with them. Um, we got leftover dinner for breakfast, or brunch as it is now. That would be the chicken chorizo potato, because I've seen David's got that fridge. <laughs> with a little sign saying, heat me up. So I'll be doing that. Um, what else are we doing today? Um, I'm gonna, you're going to edit part two of Harry Potter. We need to finish that today. Let's sort out the wax melts. Ooh. It's so dark. So I've put two squares in it. It looks like white chocolate, which is quite strange. That might be too much or too little. I don't know. The mousekeeping smells amazing. <laughs> it smells really good. I've got no shorts on. He is walking around. We've um, come to realise that in a weekend vlog, you need to wear clothes. <laughs> no, I'm Christine Keeler. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Oh. But back to the point. Jane and Tom, thank There's you. a point. <laughs> Jane and Tom, thank you so much for the mousekeeping. So since all of our Disney videos are finished, we've been doing weekend vlogs, hence why we're filming right now. 
but we're really struggling to work out our schedule. So when do we release videos? What do we release when? I sat down to do some editing after I last spoke to you and I've ended up editing last weekend's footage. Hello you. Hello. Um, so we think we've got a vlog going out today, which would be Sunday. Um, so I'm going to work on a thumbnail. So it's just coming up to half past four and we are transcoding the second weekend vlog that we decided to do this afternoon, which we hadn't planned for this morning. So we're waiting for that to transcode um, and we think we're going to put it off about six o'clock. We need to sort out the light in this place because the GoPro doesn't really work. So um, I definitely need a light in that corner over there behind David because of an evening it's quite dark and that's where I sit. And I've seen a couple of lights that I'm interested in, but I need to see if I can make them work. So this week I got a parcel. It's a new issue of Disney's 23 magazine, D23, and it's celebrating 65 years of Disneyland. It's got uh, California's Castle, Pixar Piers, Wheel, it's got Galaxy's Edge, it's got Tower of Terror, and carrying on the uh, Fantastic World series, it has got some postcards. There's all sorts on the back. You've got the Tree of Life, got Peter Pan's Flight. Oh, that's a Tron coaster. Oh, and the Contemporary with a monorail going across the bottom. That's very cute. So these magazines are always so well put together. They're always so, so lovely. Now this map is Walt Disney's original design for Disneyland when it was supposed to be opposite the Burbank studio. So it was never going to be in Anaheim. The plan was to build the theme park across the road from the studios. And this is what he had in mind. But he soon realized that actually this was far too small. Now that is a freaky Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck there. Oh, wow. I just flicked ahead. There were some posters there. That looks like it's not, but you also have a Disneyland Paris one, doesn't it? But also in the pack, you got some more postcards. Oh my gosh, that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Fantasyland, Fantasy the timeless land of enchantment postcard. Sunset Boulevard, a Hollywood Tower Hotel. Oh, Mystic Point, where the wonders of the world come to life. And this is one of the... Asian parks, isn't it? Hong Kong Disneyland Resort. That is an amazing postcard. So that's the freebie. Sometimes you get freebie. You don't get a freebie every issue. And this magazine comes out four times a year. And you have to be a Gold Club member. This is fall 2020. So, yeah, we'll have some fun reading that. Oh, blimey. <laughs> we look like ghosts. <laughs> Sausage rolls. Back in a sec. <laughs> Off your pop. I'm making sausage rolls. <laughs> he's, well, by making, he means he's just put them in the oven. It's not like he's making them from scratch. How are the sausage rolls looking? <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Weirdly, just then, the camera was focused on Doug's nose and not my face. <laughs> oh, hello, Doug. He came from the bedroom. Um, I've realised I look a bit green on the side. That's because we have our Del Boy lamp that we got from Target last summer yeah. <laughs> over there. So there's the Del Boy lamp. I really do need to sort out this corner because it's quite dark, although on the camera it doesn't look like it. You were talking about getting a lamp, weren't you? Yeah, there's two I've seen. They're like One which is like a stick lamp that goes in the corner, which keeps popping up on my Facebook feed. But I've looked into that and there's not there's mixed reviews. Plus, it's really expensive. Oh, I don't want that one. And there's another one which is like a shelving unit, like a square one, which has got a light at the top. So I'm going to look into that more. Um, I'll probably show you that next weekend. It's Sunday evening. So, we've got laundry going, we're about, we're about to say, what is some gardening? Oh, oh garden, so res and garden rescue, favourite programme. <laughs> we're so rock and roll. Uh, we're sausage rolls. And a cup of tea. Got another cup of tea, which is what we've survived on this weekend. What are we doing next weekend? I want to go and buy some plants. Yes, yeah, so we're talking about going to a garden centre, and it's the weekend before we, we're planning on maybe going away for a few days. Oh, you know what we've not done? Oh, we're not giving them an update on what's happening. So we're, we're supposed to be going to Disneyland Paris on the 7th of October. It's obviously not happening. Which we've known for a while, which we've made our peace with it. Yeah, it's it's not socially responsible to go. The government's recommending no international travel to that country. We'd have to quarantine, which would be a pain in the backside at work. So Also, Eurostyle cancelled the direct 
trails. Yeah, they have. And actually. send us an email saying, you can claim a voucher back if I claim it in 60 days. <laughs> no, we, we want a refund. No, no, no. <laughs> you cancelled my, you cancelled my train. I'm entitled to my money, money back. So we, need, we were going to do that today, but we didn't get around to it. We haven't done that. And we also need to either push Paris back or look into cancelling it, which yeah. we knew we can do one of the two. Okay, we should have done that today. So we'll do that by the time we see you next week. We'll, we'll update you on what's happening. But next weekend's the final weekend at home before we do something with those few days. So mm -hmm. we're not sure what we're 100% doing yet, but we will let you know. Thank you for watching this weekend. It's been really fun. We really enjoyed Tom and Jane's company. Um, we did a quick edit of a vlog. We got that out. We did some cleaning. It's still very Gosh, odd. So exciting. <laughs> it's still really odd filming at home. It's only the first proper time of doing it. So hopefully we'll get into a Routine. If you enjoyed this weekend's vlog, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then just don't come back next week. <laughs> How rude. And uh, it might be better next week. <laughs> I mean, I like to hope it is, but I mean, your time's valuable. I'm not going to waste it. Anyway, Alexa, set a reminder. Saturdays, watch Mr. David Mr. Ian. And don't give us a thumbs down because your Alexa's gone crazy. Just go with it. We'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye. Have a good week. Bye.